وسلم, and Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu knowing each other when the Prophet وسلم, was 12 and Abu Bakr was 10 years old. And the day the Prophet وسلم, passed away, he was 63. And Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu was 61. That means they knew each other for 50 years. 50 years! Can you imagine being best friends for 50 years? The angel Gabriel comes to visit the Prophet ﷺ. Abu Bakr is sitting with the Prophet ﷺ, and he was wearing um, kind of like a coat or a cloak, and the chest of it was kind of open. It was not buttoned. Jibreel ﷺ asked, Ya Muhammad, Mali ara Aba Bakr alayhi aba'a qad khallaha fi sadrihi. Why is Abu Bakr wearing this type of cloak that leaves his chest open? And the Prophet ﷺ said, Ya Jibreel, anfaqa malahu ala qabl al fatih. He spent every last penny he had for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he can't even afford an undershirt. And Jibreel alayhi salam responded by saying, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزَّ وَجَلْ يُقْرِئُ عَلَيْكَ السَّلَامِ O oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, God sends you his salams. وَيَقُولُ لَكَ And Allah commands you, قُلْ لَهُ أَرَاضٍ أَنْتَ عَنِّي فِي فَقْرِكَ هَذَا أَمْ سَاخِطًا God has commanded you to ask Abu Bakr, O oh, Abu Bakr, in poverty, where you can't even afford an undershirt. Are you still happy with Allah or are you angry and upset with Allah? So the Prophet ﷺ turned to Abu Bakr and he said, Oh Abu Bakr, in Allah Azza wa Jal yuqriu alayka salam. Allah says salam to you. And he says, Aradin anta anni fi faqrika hadha am sakhid. Are you happy with God? With Allah, or are you angry and upset with Allah that He's put you in this situation? Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu responds like bewildered, shocked. He says, Askhutu ala, ala Rabbi? Are you asking if I could ever be upset with my Allah? Ana an Rabbi radin, ana an Rabbi radin, ana an Rabbi radin. And he kept repeating the same phrase. He said, I have been, am, and will always be pleased and content and happy with my Lord and my Master. That was Abu Bakr. When they were migrating from Mecca to Medina, the news had reached them that the Meccans have placed a bounty on the head of the Prophet ﷺ. A hundred camels, dead or alive. A hundred camels is like a hundred thousand dollars. That's like owning a car lot with a hundred cars on the car lot for sale. So as they're walking, normally when there's two people kind of traveling, what you expect is you're kind of walking side by side. You know, you have a conversation kind of going. They're having a conversation. And after a while, Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu just kind of fades back. And now he's behind the Prophet so I'm writing for a while. Then after a while, he comes around to the other side of the Prophet وسلم, where he's on the left of the Prophet And the Prophet وسلم, kind of looks over like, okay. Then a little while later, he rides forward and now he's riding in front of the Prophet. And that's very out of character for Abu Bakr He was like the epitome of respect and etiquette in Adam. For him to ride in front of the Prophet وسلم, very out of character. And then after a little while, then he slides back to the right of the Prophet ﷺ. And that's when the Prophet ﷺ is like, okay, time out. What is going on? Why are you doing tawaf around me? And Abu Bakr says, O oh, Messenger of God, I know that they're coming to try to hunt you down. So sometimes I'm writing to your right, and then I get just this paranoia in my heart, in my chest. That what if they come from behind? And somebody shoots an arrow from behind before we can react. So I slide behind you so that the arrow would hit me. Then I think they might come from the left. So I go to the left. 
So the arrow would hit me. Then I go to the front. Then I go to the right. Then I go to the back, the left, the front, the right. And I just can't stop. And that's when the Prophet ﷺ told him, calm down, relax. Allahumma'ana. Allah is with us. Don't worry. Relax. This is how much he cared about the Prophet ﷺ. And how did the Prophet ﷺ reciprocate that type of love and that type of care? He said, لَوْ كُنْتُ مُتَّخِذًا خَلِيلًا لَتَّخَذْتُ إِبْنَ أَبِي قُحَافَةَ خَلِيلًا or لَتَّخَذْتُ أَبَا بَكْرٍ خَلِيلًا وَإِنَّ صَاحِبَكُمْ خَلِيلُ اللَّهِ He says, my best, best, bestest friend is Allah. That position has been filled. But if that position was still open, Abu Bakr would have gotten that position. That's how the Prophet ﷺ displayed love and appreciation. And that caused people that were his own age to even reciprocate with so much love and loyalty.